I'm Daniel with Simple Crypto Consulting, where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to launch a Theta Guardian node. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming a couple of things. Mainly, that you have a basic understanding of how to set up a crypto wallet and exchange funds between one wallet and another, and you understand the importance of things like seed phrases and keeping those secure. Also, if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you know what Theta is, you have a Theta wallet, and you have some Theta that you're interested in staking. So I won't be going over how to set up a Theta wallet and all of that kind of stuff in this specific video. If you do want that video, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. So I'm making this video for those of you that want to set up a Theta Guardian node to stake to earn T-Fuel. And you're in luck because that's exactly what this video is for. Bit of a disclaimer before we get started, I am not a financial advisor and nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Also, I will never reach out to you in the comment section and ask you for money or to invest with me or your seed phrases or anything like that. If anybody is reaching out to you directly on the internet, asking you to send them money or import your seed phrases or anything of that nature, it's likely a scammer or a hacker trying to steal your money. So be careful. With that being said, let's go ahead and break down what we need to get started. First of all, to stake to a Guardian node with Theta, you need a minimum of 1,000 Theta to do that. As is the case with most proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies, you earn rewards for staking your crypto and securing the blockchain. In this case, the Theta Network blockchain. This reward is paid to you in the form of T-Fuel. The rewards that you earn are calculated by taking the amount that you have staked and dividing that by the entire amount staked. So let's say you stake 1000 Theta. At the time of this recording, staking 1000 Theta will earn you about 1 T fuel a day, or about 365 a year. Rewards are paid out in a bit of a complicated manner but you should see your wallet update with your rewards every few weeks. All that being said, let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and I'll show you step-by-step step how to launch the software and get a Guardian node up and running. All right, so here we are on our crypto-only laptop from Calix Solutions. We're gonna go down to the Brave browser and open that up. And if you haven't accessed the Theta website before, and you don't have a bookmark to go ahead and type in theta token.org all right this is the only official website if you see anything else that's not theta token.org if it's net if it's com those are phishing sites stay away from those be very careful it's theta.org and it has this little secure information valid certificates etc so Let's go to Docs, and this is all the documentation about the Theta Network. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to click on Launch Guardian Node. All right, so this gives you an overview of everything that you need, like what the Guardian Node is and stuff like that, right? So the minimum a token amount is 1,000 Theta. The minimum system requirements are 5 megabytes up and down of internet speed, 4 cores on your CPU or more, and 8 gigabytes or more of RAM or memory. Uh, there are multiple different ways to install a Guardian node. Uh, the, the way we're going to do it now is through the GUI. Um, if you want to do the command line, you can do that. If you want to try and do a uh, Google Cloud machine, you can do that. That's a separate thing though. Let's go ahead and click on, click here for the GUI. This is gonna give you the instructions on how to do it. So, download the latest installation file uh, for your computer. So, we're on Windows, we'd click on that. If you're on Mac, you'd click on that. So we're gonna do Windows and save in our downloads folder. And we're gonna let that download. All right, once that has finished downloading, we're gonna just click on this and that should start to install the Guardian node. Okay, this is gonna tell you what you need to do. All right, create a node. All you need is a password. You're gonna let it sync with the Theta network. That's gonna take some time. And you're gonna wanna, after that, stake your Theta and keep your Guardian node running. Keep in mind that you don't need your private keys, mnemonic phrases, or key stores, or anything like that to interact with the Guardian 
node. Okay, that stuff's only for your wallet, so don't get don't get fished. All right. So we're gonna create a password. All right. Okay, and create node. Now this is gonna go through the process of initializing, downloading the snapshot, syncing the snapshot, all that kind of stuff. You're gonna see the process down here, and this is the part that's probably going to take the longest amount of time. So go ahead and set it up, and we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so when it's done, you should see a screen like this. If it gets stuck on that previous screen where you see the 99.96 percentage and it never seems to catch up, you can go up here to Info, Performance Tier, and then hit Standard, and that should help um, get it to sync faster. But we've just left it for a little while. Uh, all in all, I think I left it for I left it for a few hours, and it eventually synced up. So now we're good to go. So now that we have this downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and go to our Theta wallet. Now we could, from here, we can just click on Theta wallet, and it'll open it up in our default browser. So I'm assuming that you already know how to get into your Theta wallet, and that you've done that before. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. Now, if you don't have a wallet, you can just click on Create Wallet, and you can go through that process. You'll set a new password, click this, that Theta can't recover these passwords or key store files or anything like that. Um, and you can go through that process, and then you'll have a new wallet. But uh, once you have a new wallet, you'll have to send the Theta from the old wallet to this new wallet. So if you already have Theta in a wallet, I would just import the wallet that you already have. Now, if you do create a new wallet, you're going to click on Download Key Store. You'll want to make sure that you pay attention to this box right here. It says Save As. This is the location of that Key Store file. And you'll need that file whenever you open up the wallet. So make sure you pay attention to where it is. It defaults to in the Downloads folder because it is a downloadable file. Most everything that you download will be in that downloads folder. I'm going to move it onto the desktop. That'll be much easier to find. You could rename it something like Theta Key Store, and then you know that that's, that's what it is. And there you go. So now let's download it. Now, this is saying it's going to show us the mnemonic phrase. Let's click out of this. And uh, I'm going to click continue, but I'm not going to show you the seed phrase. But you will be able to see it when you click on continue. All right, after you write down your seed phrase, you click continue, and it says you're ready. You're now ready to use your Theta wallet. So I'll click on unlock wallet. Okay. I am not going to save this password. Okay, now that you're ready to unlock it, choose Key Store File, go to Desktop, go to Theta Key Store, dot Key Store, open, and then put in the password that you just set up. And now we have a brand new Theta wallet. You can see this is the wallet address, these are the empty balances, etc., etc. So, what we need to do now, if you've made a new wallet, you'll have to send money send the Theta to this wallet, which means you'll need to copy this address, go to your other wallet, click on send. Okay, you'll need to put the new address in this box right here, the amount you're gonna send, and make sure that you have some T-Fuel in that other wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. A simple trick in this case uh, to share the wallet addresses between computers is to use something like Google Keep, which is a note keeping software that automatically syncs up with your apps and all that kind of different stuff. So I'm going to sign into it. All right. So here you can see before I uh, have a Divi address here. 
that's what that is. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is go to my Theta wallet, copy this by clicking on this clipboard, go to Google Keep, and I'm going to put in I'm going to copy it and paste it. Okay? Click control V or right click and click paste. I'm going to call this the Theta address. And this is a public address, so there's no security risk in sharing this with people. So, hey, if you want to send me some Theta, go ahead and throw a couple my way. You can use that address right there. All right, I'm going to send Theta to the wallet, and we'll be back when it is there. All right, and there we go. That took about one second. So as soon as I sent it over, it showed up right here. Okay, so now that we got that all worked out, that's the process if you're going to open a new wallet to uh, do the staking on. So now that we have this theta here, we're going to stake the whole amount. We're going to go over here to stakes. We're going to click on deposit stake. Now you can see validator node, guardian node, or delegated guardian node. Validator node is for, uh, I think there's 15 or 16 specific validator nodes, and that's for if you have like 2 million theta to stake. Also, it's for like uh, corporations. I don't think it's really for individuals. Uh, the Guardian node is what we're doing right now. This is going to be for a different video. You can delegate your stake to another Guardian node so that you don't have to have your machine up and running the entire time. Uh, for the process we're doing today, we're doing my Guardian node, okay? Because that's, that's the process we are started on, and that's what we're doing. That does mean that you will need to keep this machine that you're installing this on basically running all the time because if it's not running and not connected to the internet, you won't be earning any T fuel. All right, so we clicked on my guardian node. Now we're going to deposit this much. Now, this right here, the guardian node holder, in parentheses, summary, that is going to be this right here, this whole big long thing. So we're going to click copy to clipboard okay it said it was copied let's go back to the wallet okay click on it you'll see this little cursor here click control plus v and you will copy it now let's just go ahead and make sure that these last few numbers three seven eight zero zero one are the same three seven eight zero zero one perfect if you're wondering you can press the buttons alt and tab and you can choose to go between windows that way now it says amount how much do you want to stake you have to stake at least 1000 but i'm going to do the entire balance all right so there you go there is that the transaction fee is 0.3 t fuel ah wait a minute let's pause i don't actually have any t fuel in my wallet so what i'll need to do is send some t fuel to my wallet really quick now you use the same wallet address for Theta and T Fuel, which is right here. So I'm gonna send some T Fuel. It says the transaction has been is being processed, so we'll wait for that to show up. Here you go. That's it. Just like that. So now we have 100 T Fuel, super fast. So we're gonna stake again. Deposit my Guardian node. Continue. We're gonna paste this make sure this looks the same and stake the entire balance and deposit stake okay so this is a confirmation that you're depositing this amount of theta to this guardian node from this address this is the transaction fee put in your password one more time just to make sure that it's you that is doing it and click defer confirm and deposit stake all right it says your transaction is being processed we're not going to save that. All right. So when the transaction gets fully processed, you will see on the Guardian node, everything will change. And I will show you that and we'll be back when that is done. All right. So we can see now that the transaction went through. And here we go. We have our holder. This is a hyperlink. You can actually click on this and it'll take you to the Theta Explorer, which will show you anything that's been going on with that. So from here, this is a guardian node. You can see that staked. This is how much there is. 
um, you can go through and all the guardian nodes are public so you could see those if you wanted to but so right right here we have our stake which is 1219.8 that's a very tiny percentage of the network so it shows up as zero percent all right the network stake this is the entire amount the entire amount is about 618 million theta there are 3634 nodes this is our balance of t fuel this is how much we've earned this is the amount of peers that this machine is connected to this is the current block of the blockchain that the network is validating or updating or syncing with etc so if you run into problems Go ahead and go to performance tier. Well, go to this info button. Performance tier, click on standard. That'll use less machine resources, so it should work better. You can also, if that doesn't work, go ahead and delete this node database. Okay, that'll just basically delete what you had on your computer, download it again, and start over. So sometimes if you run into syncing issues, you can do that, and that'll fix that. Otherwise, you shouldn't have to do anything else. You should just let this run. Don't close out of it because this has to be running, as far as I know, for the staking to occur. So uh, you want to make sure you leave your machine running as well. So if you're on Windows, you can go over here to the Windows button, click on the gear, open up your settings, type in sleep to get to power and sleep settings. Um, I would say keep your screen on and keep your PC from going into sleep mode when it's plugged in so just keep this PC plugged in and keep it going so that the Guardian node is up and running at all times if you want to see how you can delegate your theta to another node like gpool uh, keep your eyes out subscribe I will be doing a video like that uh, very soon so there we go that's it all right, there you have it. That's how you launch and stake to your very own Theta Guardian node. In future videos, we'll be going over how you can stake T Fuel to the Edge node, as well as how you can stake your Theta to delegated Guardian nodes to hopefully earn a little bit more than just staking a small amount to your own Guardian node. Staking to a delegated node also removes the necessity to have your own computer running. 24 7. I hope that you found this video useful and informative. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and leave any questions you have or other ideas for future videos down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.